What's up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here, opening Sorcier de Fleur, like always. I'm going to set my spore. Um, yeah, set spore. It's cool. Every game I've opened MST, <laughs> I've opened MST and Heavy as well. Like Sorcier, MST, Heavy. That's what's up. If I had a play, I'd be able to make it. Oh look, it's Fire Kings. <laughs> what a lame deck. <laughs> Set more. I'm not attacking into your Horn of the Phantom Beast, bro. Uh, no, just, just chill then. Oh, wait, wait, what are you? What are you gonna set on? this? Okay. I'm gonna set that. Then you can draw the horn. Set that. No, no, I'm saying set uh, MST. I do want to set this. Okay. He's thinking. Um, no, oh, you should wait until he uh, Oh, we're not in battle phase. I was assuming he was going to activate that in damage step, actually. Oh. Well, yeah, you still activate when he declares his attack. That's cool. That's cool. Clearly what you should do is Dark Hole. What is this? I've never seen that. Wait. Y yeah. Y y he can... He already activated a trap, though. Oh. Wait. Can he do that? I don't know. You activated a trap, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what's... That's cool, and apparently he drew into Fire Dog, which I'm okay with. <laughs> I think it's cool, you don't get that Fire Dog back. <laughs> Cool. Necrofloor in the grave. Are you gonna do like? I'm hoping he sets some stuff. So you can heavy and call. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. But I want him to have that other thing in the grave first. Like I want to be able to. Oh, so you can get it. Yeah. At least you set one thing. No, you have Mark the Rose, so you're chill even if he like does anything. Yeah. I think I think you're good. <laughs> So he's not responding, so I'm going to activate that. What, he would have to pay No, no, he can still chain that. I'd have to chain to this. He says it's good. Okay. Does he have anything to do? No. That's cool. But like, but like, it doesn't matter. You have a stronger monster. It, yeah. it takes so much work for them to get over it. Other than like dark hole, but look, every deck has dark hole, so. Why would he not want to yeah. solemn that? <laughs> like, that's just a. You don't have to pay out half of the You have an even normal summon, you might have to okay him. <laughs> normal summon evil swarm Mandr Mandragora. Well, he and doesn't know what deck you're playing. Come on. Yeah, he does. He was watching my last duel. Oh. And he, when, the, when my opponent played the exact same deck he's playing. <laughs> because the deck is like super, super hyped. It's cool. Monarchs win that deck 100% of the time, though. <laughs> That's assuming you survive long enough to do it. Monarchs? Yeah. This cool battle Sack. It's cool. Kai's managed It's cool. Last time you were playing Monarchs, you didn't play any faders. Oh, it's because I was playing triple all the hand traps, though. So. No, you played... weren't. What was it? Uh, back, was when it you were play... back when you were playing your Sea Lancer Monarch deck, like you didn't... Oh, that was Sea Lancer Monarchs, though. Dude, it's that's Monarchs nowadays. No one plays straight Monarchs anymore. It's just not fried as good. Monarchs? Yeah. You, fried, fried monarchs. you could, and then you'd lose. I think it's better. You lose to I don't the, like Lancer. You lose to Effect Veiler instantly. Although I guess Lancer does too. Lancer loses but harder. At least, no, Lancer but at least you can set up gotchis and stuff like that in your normal frogs. Well, that's why you don't need faders. It's cool. He's summoning another one. Okay. He's going to set like double horn. 
Just go mark our and just like cool. <laughs> He's thinking. Oh my goodness, I'm sleepy. His deck bores you? No, it's two in the morning. I woke up at seven yesterday. <laughs> so now he's gonna do a disorderly march to draw one card. And then he's gonna end his turn. Uh, I'm going to go into bat battle phase. I'm going to attack. I'm going to set Mystic Tomato. Man, I really wish I had Naturia cherries. Oh man, I should find a way to go for um, Queen of Thorns. <laughs> he'd lose so many life points. Yeah, he'd just blow up Queen of Thorns. Yeah, he'd have he'd have to do some work to do that, and each normal and special summon is a thousand life points. Wait, what does Queen of Thorns require again? It, it just requires. Oh, it's good. It's a pinwing. Um, Pinwing's so like, unfair. I know it's. It requires a tuner and a non-tuner plant. Now he's gonna overlay for that like diamond dog thingy. Oh, Symphony Dijin, that works too. Cause I do have zero defense. Wait, wait. Do you, does Mark the Rose have to give it only if it's face up? Oh, wait, if it's an equip party with this yeah. equip. Wait, would that mean that you get to keep it forever? Probably, <laughs> I don't know. Do it. Just be like, it's cool. And Take then flip it. it face down. I don't really. I'd, I'd rather save it for one of his big monsters. Okay. Oh, actually, I can make Queen of Thorns right now. Dude. With Spore plus this. <laughs> yeah. Queen of Thorns has 2200, too. I think it has 23, actually. Oh, not 22. Should I do it? Well, the thing is, he'll take. Oh, wait. I, I don't even have to use this. I can just use one of these evil swarms. Wait, where's your tuner then? I, I have a spore in there, and I have a level one that I can banish for it. Queen of Thorns is six? Yes. But, but then you don't even need to summon. You I know, I'm just saying, tomato. but I could, I could save the tomato, though. That's the thing. I mean, his only ally is basically like Dark Hall. Like, Saving tomato is pretty good. Yeah, it is. Because, like, what is that card going to do against him anyways? You need have double, so yeah, I'd do that. It's not bad. Are you sure you can't just, like, game him? I can't. I can't special summon these. Um... Or let me think here. How much damage could I do? I can normal summon this. You can go for flip Gaia. this. It'll be more damage, but. Oh, I'm trying to think here. Okay. Well, you can open up the calculator. It'll help. No, I don't think I can do enough. I can do 29 plus 18, which actually wouldn't be enough. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna normal summon this. <laughs> Banish this. Get that Queen of Thorns. Yeah. That's right, you have to pay a thousand life points every time you summon. Uh, so at this point, like, he basically has to Dark Hole. Um, which I'm okay with, if he really wants to do that. He can set monsters, though. I really wish I could get Mandragora with um, Mystic Tomato. I guess, what, 1550? 1550. It's... 50's so good, though. I don't know, it lets you get over uh, things that are brought out by Mystic Tomato. <laughs> are you going to reborn one of my plants? Is this what your plan is? What's funny is if like his out is rekindling, he has to pay so many life points to do it. <laughs> well, he'll just because I don't think it, it's it's just like max C though. Oh, I know, but I'm saying it's a thousand just to do max so to do that. But then he, ha you know, he's gonna have to overlay like so that's gonna, yeah. So he's gonna, he'd basically have to pay two thousand. Oh, that's right. I can't get over it when it's in defense mode. 
Well, you can take it. I can't just take it, though. Because it's, it's not really threatening for you anyways. Nope. <laughs> I would have tacked the face down. Like, okay. Fair. Yeah, so you would have. You'd, you'd probably it's, just... It's Fire Kings. All you need to do is get that 27 beater out and you win. How like, would you do it? How would you get it out? Without summoning anything, mind you. <laughs> no, like, he, maybe he's... It's cool. I've got multiples of those now. <laughs> Wait, hold on. If you take it, make sure you can't make a game if you take that. Now I might be able to. Well, do, go on the calculator and figure it out. You can Wait. No, it's definitely a game if I take it. Okay, let me do it. I doubt that deck plays Gores. I hope not. <laughs> oh, he does. He has to pay 2,000. Oh, 1,000. I, I can banish this at this point. I don't need it anymore. Oh, okay. Actually, you have to pay 2,000. Gore summons itself, then it summons a token. Oh, which is not at the same time? No, I don't believe so. Actually, it might be at the same time. I don't know. Um... Oh, it's cool. I don't have to pay any life points for that. It's a plant. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. That's still in the field. What am I thinking? I don't understand how you can get that fire star card off. Like, if you're playing like, an off ability. This is exactly 54 right here. Yeah. It's cool. Drop gores. Take a thousand. Success! Queen of Thorns, too good. <laughs> I think it was a queen. No, it was all Queen of Thorns. Oh, no. Why didn't he just... He just drew it. Uh, wait, what is it? The card's broken. It would summon that 27 beater, and then it, it blows itself up, and then it, it blows itself off on the end phase from the, that. Is that unfair? That's it's pretty unfair. For so you, it's 2,700 beater, and I get the effects of like that. You only have to pay 1,000 to use it, too. Yeah. Although, honestly, if he, if he got rid of my field, I'd just be like, it's cool. Special summon, oh, no, normal no, no, summon, wait, overlay, wait, wait, Ophion. He, no, no, he'd have to pay 2,000. Because one, it would summon it, and then in end phase it blows up. Then during his stamina phase, it comes back, and then he'd have to pay another 1,000. That's true. <laughs> so he might have not been able to pay for it. Like, yeah. um, That's hilarious. <laughs> Dude, Queen of Thorns is the best card. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Pink Reaper and Azanai's White Dragon signing out.